Hey everybody, happy Monday, and listen, I figured it out, I'm a genius. Um, I'm trying to make sure that you all have decks that are below 5,000 dust, and then higher than 50% win rate through bronze through gold like I always do, and when I looked at the numbers initially, I was like, this ain't it. The mini set is not very impactful, but I think I was wrong. I think I found something. I think you're going to like it. This is for those of you that did purchase the mini set. Hopefully you purchased it with gold and it's going to be a lot cheaper for you. I found the deck. If you look at the win rates right now, Paladin, Druid, Warlock, and I'm pretty sure within the next couple of days, Warrior is going to be number four if it's not bumping Warlock or what have you. Um, it is very, very strong, but I don't think the decks are refined right now. But look at Paladin. Paladin just jumped back up. Paladin is overtaking Druid. I think Druid has some nutty decks right now, especially with the mini set, but I found something. I found something and I'm about to show you. So. Look at this, you'll see here Mining Paladin. This right here is an average of seven days. It's a 66.81%, but it's, it's a little bit stronger than that. Mining Paladin says it's 5,600 dust, but if you bought the mini set, you can minus the dust cost of the legendary. You can minus the dust cost, the 200 dust for both fossilized kaleidosaurs that are in this deck. And you can minus the 80 dust for the two shroom skivate cards. And this deck will cost you 3,720 dust. Most likely you have some of these cards. So this is a very low cost. And at the check that I went through, 75.4% win rate. You'd be silly not to at least try this deck a couple of times. So, the way you're going to do this is try to always make sure you have a minion on board. Doesn't matter what the minion is. It could be a 1-1, one, one, a 1-2, one, it doesn't matter. Get a small cost minion and keep it on the deck, and then just throw the spells at it. Throw a lot of cool spells at it. For Quel'Thalas, this will punish your opponent if they don't remove those minions on the board. Hand of a Doll. Give a minion plus two plus one, draw a card. High host silver wing. This also has, listen, it also has cobalt miner because you want to excavate. You want to excavate as much as possible. Uh, it's got shroom excavate as well. That'll not only give a minion wind, wind fury and divine shield, but also excavates. You want to excavate because you want this Azerite dragon because the Azerite dragon is going to give all other minions in your hand deck and battlefield plus three plus three. That is with the spells, with the minions on board, Sir Finley sitting there able to turn your enemy's board into Murlocs. It's just a broken, broken, broken deck, which is fun. It's got Garden's Grace. This could be zero mana if you do it right, and it'll give your minion 5-5 five, five and Divine Shield. And then it's got Amethyst, the Peacekeeper Titan, which your minions can't take more than two damage at a time, which is helpful. And then also the Titan talents that you can get and turn this around. This is a very very strong deck. This deck is 3,720 dust if you purchase the mini set. If you didn't purchase the mini set, and I think everybody should purchase the mini set, my opinion only, um, this is only 5,600 dust. So it's close to the, you know, spend that I'm trying to do on the dust. Uh, this is a broken deck. I think some of these cards may be nerfed or adjusted or tweaked here and there. As for the other ones, um, the other decks I'm going to give you this week is we have Unholy Death Knight. And Unholy Death Knight <laughs> has been around for a little bit. It's at a 58.6% win rate, but it's zero dust and it's the Unholy win rate. I'll leave all of the links of the deck codes in the description below. There's also Elemental Mage. Elemental Mage is easy to play. Do I see any of the mini set cards, the Elemental ones specifically going into this deck? Absolutely not. But this is still very strong at a 63.7% percent win rate and again it's at 1620 dust secret mage package it's a little bit more difficult to pilot but this is still a viable deck this is at a 65.8 percent win rate and it's at 4160 dust like i said it's a little bit more difficult to pilot do i see any of the mini set cards going into this deck no i do not Unholy Death Knight. Unholy Death Knight is strong. It's great. It's zero dust, which is amazing. And it's a 58.6% win rate. And this is exactly what I've said before. I've said this multiple times. Build up your corpses, use Lord Merogar to make big boards, and then smack your opponent in the face as many times as possible. Is there any cards from the mini set? No, not, no, no. I don't see anything in there. Uh, Dragon Druid. 
we've talked about Dragon Druid before. 4,200 dust, and Dragon Druid right now is at a 60.6% .6 win rate. It, you can see here the popularity is going down a bit, and I really think that that popularity is going down just because there's easier, cheaper things to play, but I'm a fan of this deck. What I like to do is, and I've mentioned this before, put Snapdragon in your mulligan. Make sure you have Snapdragon. If at all possible, I try to play the game to grab Snapdragon as one of my first cards that I can play, and then you'll give all of your Battlecry minions in your deck plus one plus one. You've got Azerite Chain Gang. Never keep that, obviously you want that in your hand uh, in your deck to pull out so you can get the battle cry and quick draw to have three taunts on the board and then dragon golem you want this to be as big and as beefy as possible to summon a copy of this for each dragon in your hand you will have dragons in your hand there is a very easy chance of you having your entire board filled full of these dragon golems because of the dragons that are in your hand so it's a fun deck i like this one better than detriant druid even though Triant druid is much much stronger and then the last one we're going to talk about today is frost death knight this one is 4680 dust with a 59.5 percent win rate it's the frost package i haven't talked about this in a while um and look at this the mulligan win rate is just any card just any card any card will work um it's got frost spells it's got frostworm's fury which we've talked about this one has been a pain in the butt to many people since it came out uh Merrill manipulator it's just listen you're gonna play your minions you're gonna control the board and then you're gonna hit your opponent in the face multiple times and you're going to win the game it's only been a couple of days since the mini set has come out so give it some time i think we're going to have some some strong warrior decks uh put together it's going through some refinement and then what i'm gonna do in probably a couple of days i'll look at the weekly data and then i'll see if i can find any other opportunities for the mini set uh cards to be put into budget decks that's what i'm going to keep on doing um it used to be a no-brainer you used to see the the previous mini sets where okay this card absolutely this card absolutely this card absolutely but with the dual cards that came out i think there's a little bit difference there and there's not a lot of just you know common cards that could go in neutral cards excuse me that could go into these decks but time will tell it's it's only been a couple of days. Like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing, and I will see you in the next video.